Searching for the best CPU cooler for the Ryzen 5 9600X? The 9600X is a fantastic budget CPU for entry-level and mid-range builds. It offers the perfect blend of productivity and gaming performance, great efficiency, and a competitive price. In this video, I've thoroughly tested and researched dozens and picked the two best coolers to pair with the 9600X. One if you need a budget but reliable cooler, and another one that's the best pair considering design, performance, noise levels, and value. Current prices and all CPU coolers mentioned in the video are available in the description. Let's start with the best budget cooler for the 9600X, the Vetru V5. Traditionally, you wouldn't expect much from a single tower cooler with a single fan. However, as someone who's tested a lot of cheap coolers, you'd be surprised how capable some of them can get. The Vetru V5 is a perfect example of this, as it's a dirt cheap cooler that punches well above its price tag. Compared to its predecessor, the Vetru V3, the V5 is a bit more expensive. However, it does feature a better fan, improved ARGB support, more heat pipes, and wider compatibility for tall RAM modules. It's an upgrade in every way, and Vetru promises even better reliability because of higher quality parts. Design-wise, it gets the job done for an affordable cooler. The most important thing is that it doesn't appear cheap in any way. It has a wide fin stack array on the single tower, unnoticeable fan clips, and a 120mm FDB ARGB fan. The lighting on the fan is bright, but there's no fancy ring lighting or mirror effect here, as seen on more expensive models. The fan has a speed range of 800 to 1700 RPM, which is relatively conservative compared to most air coolers. This means it won't get too loud, which is a plus. You can connect the fan with a simple 4-pin PWM cable to your motherboard, and it comes with a 3-pin 5-volt ARGB cable that you can plug into control lighting. Installation overall is very easy, and it supports the AM5 and AM4 AMD sockets, and Intel's LGA1851, 1700, 1200, and 115X sockets. Performance-wise, this is a CPU cooler that's aimed at 65-watt CPUs like the Ryzen 5 9600X and 7600. I certainly don't recommend using it if your CPU is on the higher end side. Fortunately, it runs exceptionally well when paired with mid-range CPUs. With the Ryzen 5 9600X, you can expect an average temperature of 42 degrees Celsius under gaming load. The stock AMD cooler is closer to 55 degrees, so the performance difference is certainly massive. One problem with this cooler is that it operates at higher fan speeds by default. This means that it runs a bit louder than you'd expect. Some manual tuning, tuning the fan curve in software, will fix this, but it's a one-time annoyance you'll have to deal with. Other basic single tower coolers around this price are the Cooler Master Hyper 212 and the iGo Dark Flash Z40. The Vetru V5 is much better in terms of performance. Thermal Wright's Peerless Assassin is an even better pick, but it's more expensive. If you need something compact, easy to install, and cheap, the Vetru is the best of the bunch. All in all, a pretty good performer for the price. You shouldn't expect any crazy overclocking, but you're getting decent looks, reliable performance, and a dead simple installation. I highly recommend it for 65 watt CPUs like the Ryzen 5 9600X or Intel Core i5-14600. To sum up, what I like is the great performance for the price, the simple yet elegant ARGB, and it's compact and easy to install. On the downside, it gets a bit loud at max speeds, and the fan runs at higher RPM by default. Next, my top pick for the 9600X is the Scythe Fuma 3. While Scythe may not be as mainstream as other brands like Noctua or Thromorite in the PC building community, the company is far from a minor player. It's been around for well over three years now, and their past releases, like the Fuma and the very successful Fuma 2, showcase their expertise, offering stellar performance and punching above their weight class. With such a solid track record, I naturally had pretty high expectations for the Fuma 3, and thankfully, it didn't give me much to critique. For starters, the Fuma 3 maintains the twin tower heatsink dual fan design of the previous version, and adds higher fin density along with six high quality heat pipes to deliver better cooling performance in a compact design. A main talking point here. The Fuma 3 doesn't have much going on in terms of aesthetics or lighting, since the focus here is purely on performance, and even the design reflects that. 
For example, it features a narrow heatsink, which avoids RAM clearance issues, and the cutaway sections on the rear fin stack provides ample clearance for memory on older and bulky motherboard VRMs. All of this makes for a much easier installation process, even in space-constrained cases using mini ITX boards. It features two 120mm K's Flex 2 fans, though one is slimmer than the other. The reason for this is to accommodate their reverse jet flow configuration, which in simple terms means the fans spin in opposite directions to generate more static pressure. The fans are rated for over 12,000 hours of use, which shows just how confident Scythe is when it comes to reliability. Pairing the FUMA 3 with a CPU like the Ryzen 5 9600X is a no-brainer. And even if you end up diving into overclocking later on, the air cooler is more than capable of handling around 200 watt thermal loads with ease. In fact, it can sustain heat loads up to 290 watts, placing it in the top tier of air coolers, which typically handle between 290 and 300 watts. Against other dual tower coolers like the Deepcool AK620 Digital, the Noctua NHD15, and the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, its performance does take a slight dip. But where I think Scythe really excels compared to its peers is in its compatibility and modest 154mm height height, making it a practical solution even for older or more budget-friendly cases with limited space. For its price tag, it checks all the right boxes for a commendable upper mid-tier cooler. While it isn't going to blow your mind in terms of thermal performance or noise levels, it still performs well, especially in scenarios where larger coolers won't fit or where more expensive AIOs might not be practical. And when paired with a Ryzen 5 9600X, it's more than capable of keeping things in check for a good while. To sum up, what I like is the perfect memory and GPU clearance. The 154mm height makes it a great fit for less spacious cases, and it's competitive with high-end air coolers without the high price. On the downside, there's no ARGB lighting for those who value aesthetics. Thanks for staying till the end. Remember, you can check current prices in the description below.